In today's Health Watch, nurses at the Kirkland Cancer Center say more than 14,000 Americans need bone marrow. Uh, so the Kirkland Cancer Center plans to hold its very first drive. Here's Dr. David James with more. Bone marrow is in very high demand, but in order to donate, you first have to register to be a bone marrow donor. First off, to be a donor, that's all you need to do is to be able to swab the inside of your cheek. That's how you register to be a bone marrow. And it's a very easy process. It's fast. You can come and go within five or ten minutes. That's it. Knox says it's important for as many people as possible to donate bone marrow because it can be difficult for patients to find a match. Thirty percent of people uh, are able to get their match within their family, but seventy percent of individuals get their match from a perfect stranger. Knox also says the need for bone marrow affects children and adults of all ages. We know that blood cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths and it kills more children than any other disease in the United States. There are two ways you can donate bone marrow. One way is peripherally, which is essentially a lot like giving blood. The other way is through anesthesia where it's taken directly from the pelvic bone. With this week's Health Watch, I'm Dr. David James. If you would like to register to become a bone marrow donor, you can register online with the Kirkland Cancer Center, or you can register in the person at the Kirkland Cancer Center on Thursday, September 30th, between 12 noon and 4 p.m.